Edward's Pilgrimage. It was the year of a Lord 1420 inside the powerful Canterbury Cathedral. The bishop was about to explain an amazing news. Dear brothers and sisters, I have wonderful news. Next month, we will pilgrimage to the holy place of Santiago de Compostela in the Kingdom of Spain. After the ceremony, Edward asked, Morning. Dear father, do you know how much gold pieces cost the journey? Of course, my son. It costs 1,000 gold pieces. Oh my God! It can't be possible. Poor me. I don't have enough money to pay the boat passage. Maybe I should start working. But I only know fighting and telling stories. And story. then he showed an announcement of a job as a jester Duke of Canterbury. The offered 35 column pieces of for the day. Lucky me! I love to make people laughing. This will be my next job. Ignite Edward spent all month making love to the Duke of Canterbury. <laughs> 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 and he got his 1,000 golden pieces. The adventure was about to start. The big pyramids began the journey to Santiago Compostela. They had to travel from Canterbury to the port of Sandwich Bay. There they board to the boat for a long sea journey. Oh my god, I hate boats. I always get sick sickness. In the boat, Edward met a lot of people, but the person he liked the most was an old sir who loved telling stories. His name is Plymouth. During the journey to have fun, they were telling stories. When they arrived to Calis, they were very happy because they knew that they were near of Santiago de Compostela. When he arrived to Santiago de Compostela, everybody was terrified but excited. Finally, we arrived. Let's go to eat a big Warsaw. People say that it's delicious. Edward and his new friend Flipmouth arrived to Santiago de Compostela's cathedral and finished the pilgrimage. The end. <laughs>